There you go. Okay. What's good? Salute, salute, man. Salute, salute to you too. <laughs> How you doing? I'm okay. I'm just excited about this one, man. This is crazy. I was like, whoa, shit. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to come in and do it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I'm always, I'm always doing nah, something. Listen, you see, I try to post as much as your music as possible. I try to, what I can find, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all, okay. It's all good. I seen you post the Resurrection joint. Yeah, that's why I had to make sure it was you because you know how they, remember back in the day, they would put somebody else in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's I was like, let me make sure. I was like, let me ask him if that's really him scratching and cutting in there, because I know you want an album. So I was like, yeah. let me make sure though. You know what I mean? Yeah, they they uh, I remember I had a thing with that video. They when the directors came came for that video, they were uh, cause in the first common uh video when I was working in the studio, I was in the 1995 DMC, and I was bringing in tapes as I was in the studio. I was, we was working on the Resurrection album, and. I I was bringing the tapes, and I brought the tape into me from the DMC, and he was like, yo, you know, Common was like, his name is Rashid, but he's like, yo, that's you? I was like, yeah. So if you watched the I Used to Love video, he put that clip of me at the end of the DMC uh, with the hat on. I was That was me in the DMC. So he actually added me to that video. So, and you know, back in the days, there was a lot of uh, people, D DJs were normal videos. You know what I mean? Like, saw so Scratch and EPMD video, like, Richie Rich in third base, and then somehow this all became yeah. where these directors and stuff were like, oh, we don't need a DJ in there. So when they when it came to the Resurrection video, the directors came, and I remember they were filming that part with my hands as you posted. Um, if anybody's seen the Resurrection video, they were filming that. And I was asking them, they kept zeroing in on my hands for the whole shot. And I was like, yo, are you guys gonna uh, film me? like?" They were like, nah, we don't really need you. And, you know, I that didn't apply with me. I was like, look, you know, the song has my scratches on it. I'm all through the record. So they, they made a big deal about it. So I had to literally override them and go to Common and be like, yo, look, they're not allowing me in this video. They're telling me they're going to shoot my hand. So he actually went and talked to them. And then you see in the Resurrection video, I have a scene where I'm with his boys. And he put me in the video, which is great. But I had to literally yeah. argue with him. It's like, oh. Fucking crazy, it's bugged out. You know, big shouts to Dead Poets and Killer K. That's my publicist, they're all in. No man's give me the opportunity. So peace to anybody that's in here. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Listen, you're like one of my favorite DJs. You see, look, I even got another DJ shirt on. See? see oh wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So you that. know, people forget that you guys are a part of hip hop, man. Like y'all a big element. <laughs> and like I always say, without a DJ, ain't no MCing, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? That's a great so, point. you know, I try to incorporate all the elements because people tend to forget, man, like, our culture is, is just the way it is. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. I agree with that. Um, yeah, a lot of things have changed since then. Like, what people with, with, with how hip hop is viewed, how people view things. Um, that You know, that's one of the, the reasons why I still stay in the game. Like, you know, I've been to, damn, at least counting 15 countries, seven, eight times and over. This business has been very, very good to me. You know, and at one point I, I, I got sick of it. I really wanted to retire, but I couldn't retire. Man. Like, uh, game wouldn't let me go. It's just that, it yeah. would not let me go. Passion for it is just so strong that it would not let me go. And, you know, um, here I am now, do, still doing it. And doing it now for more of a statement to where, to where you know, letting people know that the DJ is still relevant, it still exists, and we can stand on our own. We, we've proved that um, in many instances, just by getting signed to uh, Asphodel Records and Loud Records, that we can, DJs can stand alone by themselves. Um, and we are the backbones of the music. It's not taking anything away from the MCs or whatever, but um, if anything, they, they were trying to take away from us, like trying to exclude DJ from, you know, they're trying to exclude the DJ from, from, from the, the business, from the art, basically. So, and you can't do that. So 
I make it a point every time I DJ or get on anywhere that I absolutely just try to just wreck it. So, you know, people are just like, yo, I got to see him. Or an MC's watching you. They got to be like, yo, I, I need him. Uh, you know, I, I need him. Like, with Common and them, it was, it was great because um, dealing with Common was, he was so open to the culture. And I've never had a problem with, with Common. He's always allowed me to do what I wanted to do. On stage, he's always said, look, you want a DJ break? You can do that. He gave me my DJ breaks. In the studio, he allowed me to scratch. And he allowed me to uh, express my opinion, as I would call it. He allowed me to express my opinion, which is what we basically do on these things. You know, we we express our opinions. That's, you know, that's what we do. You know, if you cast me on a, on a day where I'm, where I'm feeling sad, and I'm I'm just trying to get some emotion out. That's where I where where my emotion comes out, and I really just go hard with what I'm doing. Because for me, music is emotion transmitted in the sound. Whatever whatever I, I studied all these old jazz artists and all these artists from way back in the days. Um, and, and picked that up actually for Cuber, who when, then when I was going wow, to his house, Mr. Cuber, yeah, yeah, big shouts to Cuber, um, big shouts to him, man, very big influence on my musical mind. Um, you know, I used to watch him do all these crazy scratches when I used to go to, to his crib, when he lived in Frisco, when I used to go out there and we had shows. And, you know, I went to his house and I asked him, like, yo, how do you come up with all these crazy scratches? Like, wow. what is it in the mind? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and he would sit back, back and tell me, like, yo, you know, he he put on a tape of, of Miles Davis and just go, yo, just listen to this guy. and. You see how he's 